Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Wale. And I love you. Night one. Hey guys, this is Bella J, and in today's video, I am doing a tutorial on this hair and makeup look. Uh, well, not really a tutorial, but more like a just a chit chat, get ready with me, just talking about different things. I actually answered a question from my Instagram, like literally one question, but you'll have to watch the video to see why. So if you guys want to see like how I did this, what I used to get this look and to get this hair, then keep on watching. Okay, so hey guys, I did the first part of my hair already i was gonna do my ponytail first but i decided to just finish that at the end because i really don't know where my bobby pins are so i'm just trying to um so i'm just trying to make sure that i get everything done that i need done i'm not sure if i want to do my eyebrows today but I'm gonna do my eyes today first because I haven't done that in a while. So I've been looking at a bunch of different makeup techniques on Instagram recently. And I'm actually not gonna be talking about the products for this video. They'll be in the description box though, always. So yeah, so um, I've been trying to just find different techniques and stuff to make sure that I perfect my techniques because I'm always trying to do that. Just to make sure that I'm like on top of my game because I always want to improve. I'm trying to make sure that I, you know, do it right. Okay, so today I'm going to be using one palette. I'm going to use the Blush Neutrals palette. I kind of really want to do a pretty subtle pink look because I haven't done pink in a while and I used to do pink all the time and I just want to do pink. So I'm gonna be taking, they, these don't have names, so I'm gonna be taking, I guess this one, this one, this one, and possibly this one on my eyes today, cause it's gonna be all pink. And I'm not even sure if I'm gonna do a shimmer, I kinda just wanna do like a regular, regular schmegler, you know? I feel like the hardest part about having hooded eyes is not knowing whether or not I should bring it all the way up here. Even though I don't want to look like a raccoon, but sometimes bringing it above your crease really does look good. So don't knock it until you try. All right, so as you guys are watching this, um, this should be up the day of my birthday. And like, I just wanted to do a chit chat, get ready with me. Cause I haven't done one in a while. Like I've just done makeup videos, which is cool. But honestly, I hate doing voiceovers. So I wanted to start doing more sit down videos. But the only problem is just not knowing what to say. You know what I'm saying? Like, I never know what to talk about when I do these. So that's why I don't do them often. If you guys follow me on Instagram, like I'd definitely be willing to do um, more of a Q&A type video, like a chit chat ready with me Q&A topic based video. Like I love those, I love watching those. But okay, so yesterday somebody asked me on Instagram, they were like, cause I, first of all, I just got the question feature. Let me, let me blend this out because I know I look crazy and it, it will bother me if somebody else looks like this on camera, so. Hold on. Okay, so I literally look crazy. I'm trying to like blend and talk at the same time. This is so hard. Somebody yesterday asked me on Instagram. They said, has it been better for you on this journey to do this with a partner or alone? And I thought that was such a good question because um, some people do like some people are blessed to have to have people with them on their journey. Like, you know, their weight loss journey. And I am one of those people that is blessed to have, you know, family behind me on my weight loss journey. And even friends, like a lot of my friends, they are so supportive of me and like what I'm doing. But I know some people aren't. So I just thought it was a really good question. And then um, another thing is that like, 
I don't always have somebody to work out with or like my family's not always free like we all have different schedules so uh i ended up answering the question and i said it's both like it is it's like it's been good for me to have people and not to because yeah we all in here for the same reason you know what i'm saying especially at the gym like i've i've been talking about this for a while but it was so much fun to go to the gym with my friends Cameron and Julian over the summer because it really motivated me and even going to the gym with John like going to the gym with John or Kiana like there's so many different people that really helped me it just really made me push myself like that was a major thing like you know just having people makes you push yourself even harder versus you just being you know and doing things by yourself because like I know people try to do everything by yourself, but this is a journey that I feel like you should involve people in because it's gonna become easier if you do and if you have people holding you accountable, saying like, hey, you know what I'm saying? Like, how did you eat today? Or what are you doing this week to work out? Or, you know, just how are you bettering yourself? Like, what are you cutting out? What are you bringing in? Like, you know, just somebody literally just in your corner, in your face saying, hey, what's good? Checking on you. It's good to have people to check on you. So that's what I do love about um, the people in my corner and having people along for the journey. I wish I had a bunch of other questions to answer, but I really don't. So I don't really know what to say. Oh, okay. Well, first of all, I really love clothing hauls and I love doing that clothing haul so much. So like, I want to start doing, um, more of those and i was wondering what clothing hauls like what brands would you guys want to see me do clothing hauls from and i know it's not necessarily like weight loss based but y'all know i'm not trying to limit myself so you know definitely comment down below because that that clothing haul for me was so fun and it was just so different so i really want to do that i've been thinking about doing like a walmart or a myers haul and i don't know if myers is on the west coast but i know it's definitely on the east coast so i wanted to do a myers haul and a, um walmart haul because like department stores that would be lit and even a fashion overhaul eventually because like I've never ordered from them, so honestly, I'm kind of scared to see um, how their clothes might fit me. But I do know of some plus size clothing brands that I have tried. Like, I've tried GS Loves Me, and I've tried Rev Dolls, of course, and Fashion to Figure. And I love Fashion to Figure. Like, when I first got out of high school, that's where I was shopping at. And I really didn't get anything besides church clothes, which... I wish that I didn't just get church clothes because I don't be going nowhere to dress up besides church. I mean, but Lokito, I have been going to a bunch of networking networking events recently, like the Millennial Wind Down by my friend Lauren. She's been literally connecting so many people like i've met some dope people and i've i feel like i'm really building some dope relationships with different people that i've met so far and she's she's having another networking event it's supposed to be like a christmas one this december so <laughs> why do i keep doing that yeah she's having another one this december though so i'm really excited about that and i'm hoping that my friend goes with me like my best friend destiny i'm hoping she goes with me but we'll see and i'm planning on vlogging more so i'm about to go get me a um what's it called i'm about to go get a what's it called oh a tripod i'm gonna go get me another tripod until i can get my vlogging camera fixed because that's really the main reason why i haven't been doing vlogs or why i haven't been i guess as motivated to do vlogs that's the reason because i need a i need to fix my vlogging camera like if i showed y'all my vlogging camera y'all be like sis what did you do Cause it's that bad. Honestly, this is probably the most flawless my skin has looked in a while. 
like recently my skin hasn't looked this good since I started keto like honestly well before keto my skin looked this good in like 11th grade but that was when I was juicing like every single day and take and that's when I first started taking apple cider vinegar but it hasn't looked as good since then for real and I have like a little bit of texture but it's not that bad so shout out to keto for sure because I don't think my makeup would look this flawless if I wasn't on keto right now Oh, and like I said earlier in the video, I didn't even talk about my birthday, honestly. But I'm not doing anything for my birthday this year. This year, I really just wanted to kind of just chill with my family and really just, like, take in the fact that I'm even here. Because last year, I went through so much. And it was honestly just so overwhelming for me. So I really just, I really just want to chill. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to, I... <laughs> I'm over the whole turn up phase in my life. Like I'm really just like I last year was the year that I found out that it's not for me. And like, I just really just thank God that I'm here and that, you know, I'm blessed to see 20 cause not a lot of people do get to see 20 years old. And like, I'm 20. That's crazy. I'm really 20 years old. And I graduated two years ago. Like that's even crazier that I've it's been two years since I graduated. And I'm 20 out here actually doing what I want to do. A lot of people don't even follow their dreams, but I'm following mine. And I have people in my corner that support them, will support my dreams and that support, you know, everything that I'm doing as far as YouTube goes and photography and makeup. Like people literally let me practice on them. They let me, you know, do shoots with them all of that like I'm blessed and I'm just so grateful and so happy to just be here hello it's me I've been saying I literally just watched somebody get ready with me earlier and they took off all their under eye concealer because they're so impatient but they didn't even peep like I'd be watching people that kind of just do makeup just to do makeup and they really took off all their under eye concealer. My biggest problem be trying not to crease, trying to blend in the crease and taking off under eye concealer. Cause. And another thing is like, since I do have such crazy bags, it's harder for me to like try to get in the creases and crevices, you know? So I don't be knowing what to do, but I mean, I'm just, that's why I just kind of try to experiment with different sponges and stuff. Cause mm -mm. my braid is so stiff. That's a shame. That is a whole shame. Now it's time to set my face. I'm going to use this today because I don't know. Like I really, I'm going to use this. So right after this clip, I actually lost all the footage of me doing my makeup. So the rest of the video is just me doing my lips and hair. Okay, so that is all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this chit chat. Get ready with me and this hair. Get ready with me. I really like how it turned out because you know. I've been struggling trying to get this to come out right for the past few days so definitely comment down below if you guys want to see more videos like these um because i'd love to do them i'm not sure if i'll be wearing any more ponytails or anything different anytime soon but you 
that was an L. But you'll have to subscribe to find that out. So uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And also turn on the post notification. Because y'all know YouTube be playing. And follow me on all my social media. It's always in the description box below. It's always at the end of the video on this side. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Have faith in a young OG. Stunt. Have faith in do a B-I-G. Yeah.